Hello and welcome to Atlassian Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what has shipped in Jira Software Cloud. My name's Jade and I'm a product designer on the Jira Software team, focused on building all things DevOps. In today's session, we're going to take a look at our brand new deployment frequency report. The deployment frequency report shows you how often your team is deploying code to different environments and the batch size of each production deployment. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a demo. So here we have our deployment frequency report. You can navigate here in JIRA via the reports tab or from the insights on the deployments tab. If you can't see your deployments tab in JIRA, you'll have to ask your project admin to enable it via project settings. But as you can see on this report, we have a comprehensive set of metrics. So in this top graph, the weekly comparison, you can see that this compares your deployment frequency from week to week, and it also compares it to a 12 week average. Your deployment frequency is essentially how many times you deploy to production within that week. As you can see, higher deployment frequency means a slightly lower risk of things going wrong when you deploy to production. And this is also reflected in the median issues or batch size graph. So this shows how many JIRA issues were bundled into every deployment for that respective week. Down below, we have another graph, and this allows you to compare your deployment frequency for all of your environment types. So to avoid riskier deployments, try to deploy to production more frequently or equally as other environments. And finally, down below, we have a week breakdown. So this actually allows you to see the composition of your deployments throughout that selected week. So for example, this is the week of the 16th of August. You can view the issues and batch size attached to each deployment by hovering on the graph. And you can actually dig a bit further and view the actual issues attached by clicking on our deployment navigator. So as you can see, you can see all of the issues that were deployed in this one deployment. Additionally, you can navigate to the deployment itself by clicking through from the deployment navigator or also clicking through from the deployment in the table. You can also select different weeks for this report and review its respective breakdown by clicking on either graphs in the weekly comparison or you can use the date selector. So there we have it. I hope our deployment frequency report will provide you with useful data and get your team deploying to production more frequently by managing your team's batch size. We hope you like what we've done so far. And as always, please let us know what you think via the comments or the give feedback button in product. Thanks everyone for watching.